Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Lead Code Data Science with MLV Prasad. A small intro about myself. Myself, MLV Prasad. I am a mentor for data science at analytics at various ed tech companies, and I also have a master's degree in CS with specialization in AI and machine learning. And I am here to just share my expertise of data science and later code to YouTube. This is uh, my personal website where the future updates of all my channel I'll be keeping and posting here. You can be updated there. This is my agenda of the channel until next year where I will be uploading videos for SQL, data structures and algorithms, probability, statistics, concepts of everything, Kaggle competitions, computer vision and NLP topics and also interview preparation strategies. Okay, currently there are 683 subscribers and I have kept the goal to reach one like data science aspirants by the deadline. I have reached until now 0 0.6 of my goal percent of my goal subscribe to my channel to make sure I can uh, achieve my goal by the next year and provide value to you A and okay. and the question which we are trying to solve today is 1321 type medium restaurant growth if you want to network with me you can have a free top net mentoring session and this will be the link which will be provided in the chat description go to the link and have a session with me in addition to that, every month I also teach Python everything data science track plus SQL in depth with problem solving abilities. And if you want to master both these topics, you can contact me in my email or my phone number. Let's see the question. Okay, they have given some table called customers. Okay. You are the restaurant owner, you want to analyze a possible expansion. There will be one next Compute the moving average of how much the customer paid in 7 days. 7 days window, okay. Current day plus 6 days before, okay, okay. Let's see what they have done. For 1, they are Okay, for 1, they are calculating for 1, 2, 7, 2, for 2, 2, 8, for 3, 3, 2, 9, for 4, 4, 2, 10. All the sum of amounts by 7 they are doing, okay. I will explain you what is happening here is now for let's say uh, 8 is there okay running total means that day 7 day running total is there let's see you are on some January 8th running total on January 8th will be January 2nd to January 8th 7 days Let's say some sales has happened on every day. All the sales by 7 you need to do. That is called running total. Okay. So how can we get that? So let's do one thing. 8 and let's do. Let's, let me take one more table. For 1, only 1 needs to be calculated. For 2, 1 and 2 needs to be calculated because running total means last 7 days for 3, 1, 2, 3. Let's say for 9, only until 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So what we need to do is, and you can see one more thing, two dates are repeated again. So first of all, first thing to do is group by visited date and calculate the sum of amount. So for one amount per each date will be there. And what you need to do, every date, we need to create connection with the last 7 days. Okay. Such that we can have the running total for each thing. Okay. Now let's do that. Now, let's, from, if you can see, there are two tens. Okay. Two ten dates. So let's group by that, uh, from customer, let's do group by. We stay down, select, we stay down, comma, sum of amount, let's call it as total, okay. Okay, now we have 130 plus 150 as 280, okay, same thing. Let's think this is 10, 280. Now what we need to do, left side table should be connected to 7 to maximum this state. So I will do this connection. Let me call it a CTE with the CTE as. So this is the table where 
sum of each rate is there. So from C T E A inner join we need to do left join. Oh no, no in inner join only left because not things also should be there. Left join again C T E B on what is the condition? Each date should, for example 10 is there maximum 10 should be there minimum 4 should be there because maximum that and minimum should be 6 days before that because one week is there so on a dot visited on should be greater than or equal to 6 days before that which is b dot 6 days date sub will do the date subtraction And what is the other condition? It should be maximum of that date. A dot Western should be less than or equal to B dot Western date. Okay. okay let me keep that. Now you can see each date. For example, one, 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 each and the possible connections, it has taken place. Now, what we need to do? We need to do grouping by each date and need to calculate the sum of amount. Group by A dot visited on. Select here A dot visited on, comma, sum of total, comma, total one more thing sum of total by 7 this is running total okay let's call it as average amount let's call this one as amount Okay, total is ambiguous. Okay, let's say a dot total. A dot total. Both are same. Ah, uh, did we get the right thing? Sorry, it should be b dot total. Because right side table I need to calculate. Okay, we got the values everything we got it here you can see one more thing they need to be doing rounding of okay let's do the rounding rounding comma two okay and if you observe the first date is january 2nd for the running total seven days minimum seven days should be there so what they have done they are calculating from seven onwards so we got the right answer but we need to okay one minute just a minute have we done the right thing Let's do one thing. Let's check this one where the mistake is coming. Okay, you can see here so on, so on, so on. Okay, let's do one thing order by a dot visited on. Okay, what is happening? 10 should be greater than okay, 
10 is connecting with 10 9 is connecting with 9 10 upper bounding it is doing similarly 8 is connecting with 8 9 10 7 is connecting with uh, 7 8 9 10 A dot visited on should be less than or equal to oh it is greater than the date sub um, what is the six interval date of this one see a dot twisted on is greater than b dot twisted on um, maximum should be this date okay let's figure it out where is the mistake we are getting a dot twisted on less than or equal to b dot twisted on Okay, okay, what we've done is right. We are talking in the opposite wrong way. Sorry, order by b dot visited on so group by select here b dot visited on sum of a dot total. As amount comma b dot sum of a dot total by 7 again this should be rounded off as average amount okay let's see it Okay, let's come here. Okay. Okay, let's see what is the issue. Let's do it again. Okay, now we can see all the dates and the respective amount we are getting but first six dates we don't want it right so let me keep one more condition where b dot visited on should be greater than select minimum of visited on from customer table And six days plus it, it should be there so minimum six days for the minimum date for example you can see the minimum date is January 1st so the minimum date should be January 1st plus six at least seven so should be greater than data add minimum date of that plus six interval six days
that's it it is finally got submitted thanks for watching my video if you want more data science material on python numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn or any python other deep learning libraries you can follow my kagil channel where the notes are available all the links of that are available in my kofi link it is also available in the chat description go here and you will have all the links and if my channel has provided any value to you you can do a small donation here the link of that is available in the chat description below